Good morning students. Welcome to my video lecture on module 2 lecture 3b manufacturing of carbon fibers. This is a part of the postgraduate course fabrication and processing of advanced composites ME61011. I am Nilanjan Das Chakladar of mechanical engineering department IIT Kharagpur. In this particular lecture we will look into carbon fibers specifically its manufacturing and application. Now coming to manufacturing of carbon fibers. In 1878 Thomas Alpha Edison so manufactured carbon fibers from cotton and bamboo. In 1950 high temperature missile applications have been uh, have come out using carbon fibers. In late 1960s commercial production started by Courtauld's UK. So carbon fiber has a number of precursors that can be rayon, polyacrylonitrile or PAN and petroleum peach. Now deliberately these two have been bold. Why? Because commonly PAN and petroleum peach are used to form the carbon fibers and within petroleum peach and PAN, PAN is famous. Now Coming to the manufacturing of carbon fibers, carbon fiber has the highest strength and stiffness of any reinforced candidate. Okay, and as we have just discussed, that carbon fibers may have two precursors one is pan, another is pitch. So, we'll look into the process now. The fibers are drawn or oxidized at a temperature close to 400 degrees Celsius to cross link. Okay, so this is a textile fiber. Then once it is stretched, it is passed on through a thermoset bath. It, it is then carbonized, then graphitized, surface treatment and sizing. So what do we mean when we say carbonize? In case of carbonization, the temperature is higher than 800 degrees Celsius. We call it pyrolysis to create fibers made of carbon only. Okay, now try to think if carbon has already been manufactured here, why do we need this? Because we have already got the carbon fiber. So we did not get a pure carbon fiber. Okay, so the next step comes to graphitize. Graphitization occurs at a temperature higher than 1000 degrees Celsius so that all the impurities can be uh, eliminated and as a result crystallinity will increase. So we are gradually Im imparting the properties of the carbon fibers into the drawn fibers. And the last one is the surface treatment or the sizing. So why is it surface treatment or sizing? Because the graphitization process, the carbonization process that creates a very brittle carbon fiber and we have to handle it. We have to lay it, we have to transport it, we have to infuse resin into it. So all this will require some kind of surface treatment and sizing so that the brittleness can be reduced. The next is the peach process. So all the other steps remaining same, we start with a melt spun fiber. So if you remember the polystyrene fiber production, we have also used the term melt spinning. So similarly here we can also go for a melt spun fiber and then carry out the same process. Now you definitely need to remember the manufacturing of carbon fibers through these two precursors. Okay. Now we have heard a lot about graphite and graphene. Okay. So what are they? Strong carbon-carbon bonds within graphene layers create the carbon fibers. Okay, so this is this is graphite. You remove the Van der Waals bonds. You exfoliate it like exfoliation. You are taking out the leaves. These leaves are nothing but they are graphene. So typically, in case of graphite, you get a Young's modulus of elasticity as four gigapascal. When you draw them into fibers, you get 230 gigapascal. So there is an increase. In case of graphene, 
you see after exfoliation that Young's modulus or that elastic modulus increases to 2 terapascal okay so three orders 2000 gigapascals from here it increases by one order from graphite particles it increases by three orders and then graphene fiber also has a close uh, Young's modulus close to this 1.1 terapascal or uh, 1 terapascals that means high temperature during graphitization promotes orientation of the fibers the carbon fibers and hence the tensile modulus increases now coming to types and forms of carbon fibers now this is something we did not mention in the beginning while explaining that the width of a carbon fiber is quarter inch i mentioned it because this is a common common uh, carbon fiber tape now, typically the carbon fiber comes in 1k 3k 6k 12k or even 24k k stands for thousand that means in one tape either it is a thousand fiber tape 3000 fiber tape 6000 fiber tape 12000 fiber tape or 24000 fiber tape so 24000 fiber in a tape now these tapes are also called as toes which we have seen so typically the cross section of this text will be rectangular approximately 10 to 12 filaments 10 to 12 filaments in the thickness direction and the remaining 1200 in the width direction okay so these are all the fibers like this now to remember if you remember what is the width of 3k which is quarter inch or 6.35 if you half you get 1k if you double you get 6k if you further double you get 12k you further double you get 24k so if you remember just one you can work out what are the remaining width of the other sizes now coming to the modulus so there are five types of carbon fiber modulus ultra high modulus high modulus intermediate standard and low okay typically we commonly found these 200 to 280 gigapascal the standard modulus fiber and the low modulus fiber as we move to higher modulus they are more of aerospace or space applications so ultra high modulus has a uh, modulus of elasticity more than 600 gigapascals with a tensile strength close to or greater than 2.5 gigapascals so this is gigapascal don't forget okay high modulus 350 to 600 intermediate 280 to 350 then 200 to 280 and less than 200 gigapascal okay and the diameter of carbon fiber which i mentioned earlier it's 7 micron now these are typical application of carbon fibers this is a carbon twill weave fabric now what is twill what are plain we'll come to that later so this is a fabric as you can see these are uh, the fibers which are laid then this is an application from ge composite fan blade it's a typical fan blade and this is a JCCG rail where the compartments are made of carbon fiber composites. Please do look into the description links so that you can know more, much more detail of uh, these products. Coming to application of carbon fibers. So characteristics, highest strength, high temperature, environment tolerance, not sensitive to moisture. Remember that glass is sensitive to moisture. So this could be a good application where uh, glass fiber can be replaced with carbon fibers high cost brittleness is high electrical conductivity is high shielding is mandatory transverse coefficient of thermal expansion that is positive now this one if electrical conductivity is high still it is used to manufacture the uh, fuselage of an aircraft that means some electrical insulation coating is given on the carbon fibers before it is being applied to for the manufacturing of aircrafts then longitudinal uh, coefficient of thermal expansion is negative due to bending of longitudinally aligned graphene layers a direct application goes to space 
okay so that uses the negative longitudinal ct other applications high performance racing vehicles aircraft skin sporting goods thank you for watching my video hope you have enjoyed it please add my playlist video lectures of fpac me61011 and subscribe to my channel do not forget to read the description below thank you